A typical chase would consist of killing virals. Once you kill the virals, you progress through the chase levels. If you don't have any virals to kill, well then your chase can disappear, resetting it back to one. Or if you're being chased and you're at chase level one through four and you run into a safe zone and you're there for more than 10 seconds, you will lose your chase. But what if I told you that I found a strategy where not only will you never lose your chase if nothing is chasing you, but you can also go into safe zones without losing your chase. So you can hide in safe zones and kill volatiles, getting hundreds and hundreds of unique trophies, allowing you to upgrade your mods higher and higher. Not only that, but getting over 20,000 combat XP per hour. Let's get right into it. If you are not already subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I post zombies, tips, tricks, and guides all the time and you do not want to miss it. Also, you can follow me on Twitter or join the Discord. Links to those will be in the description below. First things first, if you want this to be as efficient as possible, you're going to need some really good gear. And if you want to get some level 9 artifact weapons and gear, check my video out on how to farm level 9 artifact weapons and gears very, very quickly at pretty much any level. Link to that is in the description below. Now, once you have all your gear, you're going to want to go to the Metro Tunnels, which is right next to the Bazaar. You can either fast travel or walk there. But there is a sleeping bag at the bottom of the metro tunnels in a safe zone so you want to go ahead and sleep there and make sure you sleep into the early night because you're going to want to utilize the whole night cycle once you wake up make your way back to the top of the tunnels near the entrance of the metro tunnels now you want to go in the same direction i go and directly behind it there is a bus stop now you want to mantle onto the bus stop and there is always a howler nearby now he will go ahead and he will aggro you and he will start howling causing the chase to start now it is very important you do not get down from this bus stop unless a spitter spawns in at chase level one if so just jump down kill him and mantle back up there now you want to stay up here through the rest of the chase levels. The howler will continue howling at you and he will progress you through the chase levels. Occasionally, some zombies will mantle up here through chase level one and two. You wanna go ahead and kill them. And by chase level three and four, you will notice that pretty much no zombies are spawning in or mantling up. By chase level four, there will be no more zombies spawning in but the howler will still be howling at you. So at this point, you have successfully done it. Now, all you're gonna to wanna to do is jump down and the second you hit that ground, you're gonna see a bunch of volatile spawning in around you. Run to the safe zone and stay inside of it until they all catch up with you. Now, from here, all the volatiles will be in front of you and they will be jumping towards you, getting hit by the light and then they'll sort of sort of be stunned at that point you want to run forward hit them one time and then lunge backwards to dodge any future lunges that they might jump on you and kill you in one hit and that you definitely want to avoid because that will ruin your whole day and take away all your night bonus xp so the safest way to do it is just run forward swing one time and lunge back once or twice to avoid any attacks repeat this process and you will have all the volatiles dead and you'll be sitting here wondering where the rest of them are don't sit here too long because after about 30 or 40 seconds of not moving at all the chase will actually end so instead just run outside jump on top of the bus station in front of the safe zone and just stand here all you've got to do is just stand here and before you know it a whole new wave of volatiles will spawn in again and you'll just repeat this process continuous process until you have a comfortable amount of night xp or just sit here until it is daytime and you will get all your bonus and every time you kill a wave of volatiles you will be able to freely loot all their bodies and collect those unique trophies you'll get tons of valuable items but most importantly you will be getting over 20,000 combat xp per hour assuming you are able to hit them in one or two hits to kill them and as far as i know this is the fastest combat xp method that is currently out there now i have no idea why this happens but this game is pretty buggy and i accidentally stumbled upon this so use it because there is a pretty good chance this that will be patched in the near future but i hope this video is helpful and until next time i will catch y'all in the next video peace <laughs>